You know, I went out for baseball. I didn't really want to play. I always wanted to play basketball. I only played two years of, of baseball. My first game that I actually started, I played left field. I didn't hit, the pitcher hit for me. I would never thought it would have led here. My junior year, I didn't want to go back out for baseball. I had injuries to my legs due to basketball. And so I went back out for baseball, you know, through a friend. It was Terrence, Terrence Diedrich. He was like a brother to me. I enjoyed being around him during basketball season. I knew he was good at baseball and had played. Um, so I wanted him to be out there with me. He convinced me to, you know, come back out to the trial and I missed the original one. And the coach decided to leave it up to the seniors if they want to keep me on the team. They let me stay on the team, and for like the first, I'd say, couple weeks, I was like a cheerleader. I was just, you know, just cheering guys on. You know, it kind of gave me that spark back for, for baseball to, you know, go back out and, and kind of have fun with it. And also, you know, keep me away from, you know, other things that was going on outside of school and outside of sports. Yeah, this is a locker room. Yeah, this used to be my locker right over. One of these. One of those used to be my locker. I remember when I first came and I wasn't getting no playing time. Uh, this was right before I started um, left field and the pitch was hitting for me. Like one of my homies, uh, Brian Rogers. Man, we were we were just cracking jokes on the bench. Kids we were playing against, people in the stands. Used to love to mess with the umpires a little bit. Nothing, nothing across the line, but just give them a hard time. We had a small little crew. There was probably four or five of us that uh, spent a little time on the bench together. We just used to sit on the bench and just like. <laughs> Like just crack jokes and just eat like candy. And then I finally start, I got a chance to start. So I left them over there and, and it was just, it was, it was dope though. We had a good, we had a good time, man. Senior year, we won a state championship. So that kind of left me with, you know, half of the season for baseball. And I went out and I played uh, second for the remainder of the year. And that was it. Same, sick, same vibes, good energy. I remember hitting the ball out to right. Coach Holloman, my junior college coach, was here. And after that game, he offered me a scholarship. <laughs> well, the unique thing is I was recruiting another guy from Hillcrest High School. And like oftentimes, you're recruiting one guy and you wind up seeing another guy. The day that I went to see him, he hit two home runs. I didn't know that he could play short because he was playing second at the time, but we knew he could run and we knew he could hit. After my senior year of high school, I went to East Central. That's my only baseball scholarship. First and second, the ball's popped up in the air. Second base was going this way. Shortstop's going this way. You catch it, you're thinking double him up. He struggled when he first got here. I think being away from home and getting used to me, well, I think he was still in the mode of, hey, do I need to do baseball or basketball? Because he told me he was calling some guys at basketball. He was thinking about leaving at the break and going somewhere to try to play basketball. I knew that he could have a future in baseball, more so than basketball, just because of you know his height and everything. I knew that baseball was one of those sports that he could really have a longer career in. When he got here, we were working him at second base and center field and we put him at short and he didn't want to do it. I thought he had a chance to be a really good player and didn't think that I was getting everything out of him and was, you know, was honest with him about that. Cause I thought, you know, I talked to him all the time and said, Tim, you want to be good or you want to be great? And he said, well, I want to be great. And every week you would see him do something. You're like, well, he didn't do that last week. And he didn't do that last week. You see players grow, but I have never seen anybody grow week after week after week. And it's like, When's the growing going to stop? It just kept going. My freshman year of college, I had a good year. And then after that, I went out to this Wood Belly, the Jayhawk lead out in Kansas. And I put up pretty good numbers there. 
and going back to junior college after for my sophomore year. The first game we played like double hitters and I went like seven for nine, like crazy, like home runs and doubles. And after that, scouts started showing up. And after that, I knew that I had a chance to, you know, turn this into a job. Um, remember flying into New Orleans and driving a couple of hours over to Mississippi to see him play and hearing all the stories about, you know, this guy hasn't played much baseball and uh, was mainly a basketball player. When I got there, he was easy to spot. And our scouting director said, let, let me point him out. I said, I don't think you need to point him out. I, I can see who he is. He commenced and he played a doubleheader that day. I don't think he made an out. And he exhibited some of the best hands hitting wise fast through the zone, great balance, great athleticism at the plate. I've saved that evaluation for very few people over the years, being athletic at home plate. And after that, it was just, it just blew up. We are through the first 16 picks. We just saw J.P. Crawford, the shortstop, go off the board, drafted by the Philadelphia Phillies. Up next, the Chicago White Sox. When we got in the draft room, there were a number of other you know, players we were considering. I really didn't know what to expect going into it. I didn't know what number I was going. You know, as the draft went on, the, the White Sox called and said if I was still there at 17, that they was going to take me. There was talk about, uh, at the time, from uh, a lot of clubs about moving him to center field. I said, no, 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 he'll, he'll be a major league shortstop. With the 17th selection of the 2013 first year player draft, the Chicago White Sox select Tim Anderson, a shortstop from East Central CC, Decatur, Mississippi. How do you sum up the experience and how far you've come? Uh, I say that dreams do come true and never give up. It was tough. Tim Anderson makes sure you notice him. I honestly, truly, the Royals did that. The Kansas City Royals trying to get Tim Anderson to pipe down made him this. Tim crushes this ball. He throws the bat. The ball goes flying and it's gone. Two nothing Sox. 